Welcome back to another exciting episode of Zelda World. I'm your host, Leona. In today's adventure, we're going to uncover the whereabouts of Zelda's elusive golden horse in Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. So grab your controller and let's dive in. Our journey begins at the Lucky Clover Gazette, where rumors of a potential princess sighting have been circulating. We'll start by picking up the side adventure titled Potential Princess Sightings from Tracy. This will set us on the path to finding Zelda's golden horse. Our next destination is Snowfield Stable, nestled in the South Tabantha Snowfield of Zelda World. Make your way southeast of the Paquita Stone Grove Skyview Tower, and you'll spot the stable right next to Orochium Shrine. It's always good to have a great fairy nearby, isn't it? Once you arrive at Snowfield Stable, keep an eye out for Penn speaking to Harlow, one of the stable employees. Harlow will inform us that Princess Zelda's golden horse has escaped and galloped northward. This kicks off our exciting Zelda's golden horse side adventure. Before we embark on our quest to capture the golden horse, it's essential to be well prepared. Head over to the cooking pot on the west side of the stable and whip up some meals and elixirs to enhance your abilities. We recommend crafting sneaky dishes and elixirs for increased stealth, energizing meals and elixirs to boost stamina, and spicy dishes and elixirs for cold resistance in the snowy fields. With our preparations complete, it's time to venture into the wilderness of Zelda World. As Harlow mentioned, we need to head north from Snowfield Stable in search of Zelda's golden horse. But beware of the Frost Gleok lurking in the area, unless you're up for a real challenge. As we journey further north, keep an eye out for a herd of wild horses. If you've upgraded your Purapad with Sensor Plus, switch it on to help locate them. And there it is, Zelda's golden horse, standing out from the rest. It can be found southwest of Oshozan-u Shrine in the North Tabantha Snowfield. Our coordinates were approximately 1785, 3409, 0236. Approaching Zelda's golden horse requires a bit of finesse. It tends to be more skittish than other wild horses. As you get close, it may try to escape, but with a quick sprint and a well-timed press of the A button, you can mount it before it gets away. Now that we've mounted Zelda's golden horse, it's time to calm and soothe it. It will require a little less than a full stamina wheel to do so. Once the horse is calm, feed it some apples to establish a bond. This bond will be crucial as we ride back to Snowfield Stable, ensuring a safe return. Back at Snowfield Stable, let's reunite with Harlow and Penn. Harlow, grateful for the successful retrieval of the Golden Horse, will reward us with the Royal Bridle, Royal Saddle, and an energizing elixir. Penn, always appreciative of our reporting, will also provide us with some rupees. Finally, we have the opportunity to register the Golden Horse to ourselves and even give it a name. By doing so, we'll earn a pony point, adding to our achievements in Zelda World. And that concludes our adventure of finding Zelda's Golden Horse in Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all things Zelda. Until next time, keep exploring and may the Triforce be with you.